from Nerd Family. I am hopping on real quick, excuse the lighting and all of the staging, but I'm hopping on real quick to show you what I got at Michael's today. I don't know if you guys have seen yet, but Michael's has their $4 grab bags um, starting to go at different locations. I went to the one in Clovis, California, and I got five bags myself, and my daughter got two bags. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. A total of seven bags, and I wanted to hop on here and show you guys what we got. And a nerd pie told me that if I didn't actually unbag it today, I couldn't unbag her stuff on camera because she wants to get into it. So let's jump on in. First bag I got, from the outside we can tell that it is yarns and that is what drew, uh, drew Nerd Pie to it because she makes lots of hats and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna unceremoniously rip this open. So try not to make an ugly face to go with it, but you know. If you like these kind of on the spur videos like this of just like what's going on in real life, can you guys let me know down below? Give me a thumbs up and subscribe while you're here. It'll tell me that you like these kind of real videos and encourage me to make more of them. So, um, so it looks like the majority of this yarn doesn't have its wrappers on it. Not a huge deal. She knew this getting into it. Uh, I think this is one of the big ones that she's going to love, love, love. Uh, because she's been looking for some thicker yarns to make some more hats out of. So this is a multicolored yarn. Uh, Nerd Pie, about how much would this normally go for? Uh, three to four dollars. Three to four dollars. I don't buy yarn, I don't know. How about this one, Pumpkin? Uh, four to five. Four to five. So, okay. We, we've hit way over the limit. This one, I think, is... This isn't even the ten dollar yarn. This is the more than that. No, that'd be ten dollars. Okay, so this would be about ten dollars. Now, of course, there's going to be some waste in this, but... The first thing anybody who does any kind of knitting or anything's going to do is unwrap it and roll into a ball anyways. So here's some really fine gray yarn that I think would make a gorgeous scarf. Hint, hint. <laughs> How much do you think this would go? Five dollars? Okay. I think she's lowballing it, but then again, um, I've raised her to be cheap. Oh, this will make such a pretty baby blanket. Or hat. Six, seven. Six, seven dollars. So much so this kaleidoscope yarn was the thing that she said, I want that kaleidoscope yarn and that pays for the bag. What did you say this normally? Five dollars. So this is normally five dollars and the whole bag was four. And she knew. I always say try to find something in the bag that you know versus just blindly buying. Because I can say like my Michaels had a ton, but a lot of things that I wasn't interested in. So, oh, this is gorgeous. This Heather Gray. Five, six dollars. Yeah. So... She has definitely uh, got her money's worth. Another five, six dollars. Like I said, I think she may be lowballing because her mom's cheap and, and gets her to buy things cheap. So another fine. Four dollars? Now, like I said, and in case you guys don't know, we've had this before where we're shopping through the clearance and we've picked up yarn that doesn't have its wrapper on it and she's taken it up to the register and goes, look, you know, how much would you guys charge me for this? It doesn't have a wrapper on it. It was in the clearance section. And they've charged her more than the yarn that's on sale. And I understand some of that is to discourage people from taking the wrappers off and going and getting a discount. But this is the only way you're going to get this stuff. So another... Uh, $5, $6. Oh, this is gorgeous yarn. Ooh. Nice, thick, gray. She likes doing a lot of dual tones and uses a lot of gray. Six and eight. Yeah, six six and eight dollars. So that is the one bag. That is one of Nerd High's bags. So this other one, I made it a little quiet because I think there's something in here for a, a sibling that she was the big reason she bought it. So the first thing we got, and any friends of mine, don't be surprised if you have a son and we give this to them for our Christmas, for our birthday. This is a junior kit and it is a full model car situation, but it's in plastic and it doesn't need to be painted. So it's, it's perfect age for somebody just starting out. I don't know how much this is. This is probably at least 15 Yeah, $20. I think I've seen that kit. You think you have? Yeah. So, this is the thing. This is a Minecraft thing. She got it for somebody that she loves very much, and it's a minecart. And normally, what'd you say this was? Four bucks? Yeah, something like that. So, right there, the one item. Then, of course, confetti, and if I find this around my house, I will beat her. <laughs> um, it'll be cute in something. And this is six dollars. It's not necessarily something I think that she'll really want to hold on to, but still. Oh, these are so cute. I'd have to make up with these. Little clothes pins. These are $1.50 normally. And like it doesn't even have a clearance tag on it. It went from $1.50 to the bag. 
Let's see what else we got here. We have uh, two envelopes, no? An envelope and a piece of paper, I don't know. This is garbage, <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, she's gonna love this. She, uh, I'm raising a little planner girl. And so these are all dance, like planner stickers. And these are normally, let's see if they're on here. They're not on here, but they're probably something in the $2 at, at minimum. And then we got a great cross uh, clip on veil is what it says. So like she could clip it onto her backpack or she could do something else with it. And a roll of washi tape. I know she loves this washi tape. I don't know if she has this one. I, I have that one. I just ran out of it. Well, there you go. And this is normally, I think, I believe it's normally $2 because like I said, she has this one. Here's something that is a lens filter, but this is like very specifically for the Instastax. But I know where she can unload this and maybe make her money back on that. And then more little, little stickers. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, this is perfect. She's been biking. And so these have um, tennis shoes, weights, hearts, um, other exercise stickers, and a lot of bike stickers and running stickers. So that is so cute. Oh, wait, wait, there's, but wait, there's more. So this is secondhand glitter. If you haven't seen the secondhand glitter video, I didn't make it. Um, I believe I shared it It's over a Southern on, thing. I believe I shared it over on my Facebook for Nerd Family. You gotta check it out. But this says smile and it's all glittery and it's a sticker, which I've gotta be honest, would be really cute on the side of like a wooden box or a, a paper or plastic box like you could get from the dollar store. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, she made out like a bandit. I hope you can still see me. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got, I believe these are all just monogram C's. They're monogram C seals. Well, our last name starts with a C, so it is perfect. Those are so cute. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got these little paper flowers. Oh, so she doesn't do a lot of cards right now, but I'm going to get back into it. Because I need more birthday cards, and I'll show her how to use these. But these are little paper flowers that were normally four dollars. So you can put them on like homemade cards to give it dimension and bring things up. It's really cute. And then here are some crafted four-piece removable monogram stickers of X and Q. So um, those make it donated. And wait, wait, wait. There's more. She made out like a bandit on this. And I will put down in the description an estimated value of what all of these bags are worth. It'll probably be in the title, to be completely honest, for clickbait. Um, these are binder clips. I love binder clips. I know she uses binder clips that are normally $1.50, and they're cute blue, which is some of our favorite colors. And then another washi. I may have to abscond with this. This is donut washi on a pink, and like I said, it's probably worth about $1.99 at least. So that is bag number two. And I'm gonna go with, I think we've got our money's worth. So those are her things that she got. And yeah, when I say she got, I don't mean she picked out. I mean she like plunked down her wallet and paid for them. And I'll be, in full disclosure, I've got myself a bin here to put my stuff in. Ugh. So I was looking for a little bit of Christmas stuff and planner stuff. Those are my goals. So the first one out is Craft It, Organize It stickers. And I believe these are like $3.99. And so they've got different words. So they've got like clean house, run errands, yard work, organized, drop off. So right there, price of the bag. Next up, we've got organize it, um, craft stickers. And these are just like gold and black and white stickers. And it, there are 175 stickers. There are five sheets in there. And I, like I said, I believe these are all about $4. Okay, I admit, I've looked at these more than once because... They're just so cute. And they are um, little stamps. And so you have things like Christmas tree, butterfly, exclamation mark, arrows, check boxes for those of you who are also bullet journalers out there. Uh, speech bubble, rain, snow, cupcake, pointy finger, and pound sign, and then a bunch of holiday ones. Oh, and sunshine. So this is kind of perfect for me because I think you can take these apart and make your own a uh, stick. And so here in Fresno, basically I want to know when it's going to be over 100 or over about 95, and I want to know when it's going to rain. Those really cute weather stickers always have too much clouds, and it's like all rain, and we never get snow. I think it snowed three times here in the 
40 years I've lived here. So yeah, the snow stickers never get used. Oh, I love these magnetic bookmarks. These are the craft at once. I love these. If you're a planner or you're just a reader, these are great because while they are a little thick for books, um, they just magnetize and don't leave any marks on your paper. And so I got one, I got one in this, I got another pink one, I got another rainbow one, I got another pink one, I got another one of these gold and black stickers, another one of these gold and black stickers, and I actually have something I'm contemplating doing in the fall over in For the Real Girl with those come uh, Christmas time, so... If you're curious and you're a planner girl, check out For The Real Girl. That's where I post all my planner stuff. And then I have, oh, nice, a uh, creative year. And so it is 162 stickers. I'm trying to see how many sheets. No, wrong way. That popped it right up. There we go. Doesn't say how many pages. Let's see, one, two, at least four pages. And you've got like full boxes. You've got line boxes that are the wide ones. You've got markings for important and all kinds of things. And so in this muted, like, teals and greens and pinks and Peggy's and Nerpai is eyeballing my thing, wanting it. Happy Planner Rings. These are the expander rings. These are the big rings. These are really interesting. If you like getting free printables online for a planner, you could totally rig yourself up uh, your own planner with those rings. A list sheet to go in a specific type of planner. It's got four, but life is an amazing journey. It'd be very easy to yank it off this back and put it anywhere. Okay, I knew these were in there and I knew I wasn't that interested, but everything else kind of gave me an idea. And you know, don't be one of those people. Don't open the bags. You can peek through the hole. You can look through the transparent sides. Don't rip open the bags. I did not open a single bag. I just kind of looked around the sides. And so I got one, two, three, four of the fitness and nutrition um, binders. Now there's nothing wrong with just using these too. You don't have to have a binder to put them in. And so it's things like your daily log of food. Um, yeah, it's cute. It's got some exercise stuff on it. So I got four of those. And then I got four of the undated calendars. So that is really cute. I do wonder too, and I may have to play with this, what these look like in a three ring binder. I know they're not going to fit, but every year I buy my kids, um, calendars that they carry and so the idea of them being able to stick this in their binder to take it to class and then bring it home and put it on their desk might work better than the ones I currently use. This is one of the other big reasons I bought this. More washi tape. I think this is probably a $10 roll uh, set of washi tape. So, ooh, and more of these. And when I say I love these, my husband, I had to give him some of mine because I got him hooked on them too when I go to church and I need to clip in my notes so that I don't lose them before I get home, all that. So I got another two, four, six of these. It might be perfect for the Christmas thing I'm thinking about doing. Oh, and then I got another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got plenty of those. You need bookmarks? Apparently I'm your girl. And then another set of washi tape from uh, Create365, the Happy Planner, or you might hear them called Mambi in the planner world, because that I believe is like their parent company. So they have some stuff marketed as Happy Planner, some as Mambi. Okay, next bag. So this is the size of the bag, in case anybody's like looking to see how they're packaging them. Okay, let's, ah, I got it. And sometimes these are like Michael's bags, and sometimes they're like literally just garbage bags. So we got something here that got stuck in. And these are like little um, stickers, like little emoji stickers. I've got hearts and diamonds and poo, rainbow poo, uh, sun, snow, pineapples. Very cute, 146 stickers. Then you got the stationery set. And this is the Dylan's candy. If you're looking for any of the Dylan's candy stuff, it looks like a lot of the bags are filled for, with it from my Michaels. So I don't know if that's the case everywhere, but if they had them left, they're doing it. So you got Have a Sweet Day, Bear Hugs, You Rock, Sweet Life. Maybe I'm not making cards super soon. I can use those for a lot of holidays. I got two of those. Super cute. They're also great. I just started selling some stuff on Poshmark. Um, again, uh, for the real girl. 
um, if, you, if you're looking to see, and you are encouraged to include a handwritten note, so that's nice. Story sticky notes. So these little, they have like a little seam, and then it's slipped into. I'm not sure what to think about that, but it's cute. 100 pieces, I have no idea how much this was. Next up, we've got matchboxes. Okay, I don't know what we're supposed to do with matchboxes, but it's a four piece of matchboxes. Seems very airy and florally and cute. Gift tags, love gift tags, always need them. It says eight pieces, I see four. Oh no, they're stacked too deep, so eight gift tags. In reality, those are probably $1.99. I would never pay $1.99 for them, but they're cute. So these little uh, treat bags or envelopes, they're calling them envelopes. Oh yeah, they've got some gift to them. There's six of them in here. Next up, we've got Jeanne Dunn in Hampton Art. And these, oh, it's a little journal. It's a little notebook. How cute is that? We're big notebookers. So more gift tags. So these super cute ones here. A letter S, two pieces. That is a cute idea to put it on top of your laptop. They've got in the little corner there. None of us have a name that starts with S, but I'm sure we'll find something to do with it. More gift tags. So if you have been looking for gift tags, the nun's off. Grab the next handful. I'm still on the same bag. This is, oh, a little envelope of planner stickies. Oh, how cute. That is so adorable. Another little notebook, make today amazing. Another set of gift tags. These are wood ones. So these are really nice for guy gifts too. If, you're, if you think that the other ones were all just too girly, because they were pretty girly, let's be honest. Sticker by number kit. Oh, that's cute. So you've got a pineapple, a flamingo, a palm tree, and watermelon. And they literally have it graphed out. I don't know if you can see that at all. Not really, okay. It, it, they have a picture of a pineapple with lines and then numbers, and then you put the stickers where the numbers are. That's cute. I have a crafting daughter who, who likes that kind of stuff, who would enjoy that. More gift tags. And then, oh, these are cute. These are die cut shapes, but the nice thing about these, these are banner shape. So you can build some really cute banners. Oh, some more of these um, sticker by number kits. I have no idea how much those are. I've never seen those before leaf with wood patterning uh, gift tags. Oh my gosh, so much stuff in this one. Uh, beautiful mess journal. Oh, I got the mess part right, uh, totally mess. I know my husband hasn't seen any of this yet and while he knew I was going, you know, it's always funny. So now we have some eye uh, monogram stickers and we have some more die cuts. This looks like you can make batches out of it if you had younger kids and were doing a craft with it. Okay, and we have more gift tags. More gift tags. A little charm, and it is a wishbone. Oh, how cute! You can put it on a necklace. Super cute. You like to make jewelry especially. Little animal, little cat stickers. Yes, they're all cats. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff here. I have to say, I'm a little, a little blown away. A whole bunch of A stickers, I guess. Yeah, monogram stickers, the A's. Sports stickers. If you needed sports stickers, this is not the house for sports. Um, yeah, if we could come up with a code. I say that, my kids play, um, there's a homeschool group here in Fresno called Chapa. And my kids do sports and they do six weeks of, of a sport. So I could use those next year for that. Ooh, that's a good idea. They're playing basketball right now. Next is rounders and that's a British game and it's a lot of fun. Um, our, the head of the um, sports is from Wales. And so he, he likes rounders and my kids love it. Here's some more monograms, some muse. Oh, this is so cute. These are, it's a sticky pad. Yeah, these are just all sticky pads. So this, I, I don't even know how much this is worth. I'm going to try to like find some prices for you guys, but I have no idea on some of this stuff. So I may just there's about based on shopping at Michael's all these years. One, two, three, four, five, six, six metallic markers. I know who will enjoy that in this household. 
Oh my gosh, there's so much. Okay, so here we've got this little embellishment pouch and it has, uh, well, it's already open, so let me just pull out some stuff here. Ugh, sticky on the back. We looked at these. I wanna say they were $4. So you got buttons and you've got a sticky pad. You've got just die cuts. You've got a piece of construction paper maybe. And then you've got these super cute um, decorated paper clips. And it's sticky on the back where the sticker was is. Okay, we've got more gift tags. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a million years long. I'm sorry. Uh, ma more matchboxes. What are, what, tell me out there in the crafty world, what should I do with those matchboxes? Oh, story sticky notes and they're food. It's like a sandwich. It looks like you, oh, that's so cute. Okay, that is adorable. It looks like the back is bread and you've got cheese and you've got tomatoes, lettuce, and onion. More gift tags. More gift tags. Adulting time. Okay, I, I might have to put this on something. It's just a sticker and it, the monogram says adulting time. Permanent and dishwasher safe. That could totally go in a mug. More in this bag. Okay, next up, we're gonna, next bag we're gonna open is the bag that I think is gonna be pretty easy and quick. So. More gift tags. More gift tags. Anybody need gift tags out there in the world? Oh, super cute die cut leaves. Okay, and open work the work week. I'm gonna take this one off because it's dirty. Where you just have Monday through Friday and notes. That's cute. What these are really good for is um, mouse pads. So you can keep it, put a little piece of plastic over the top, and then you always have something to write on. I've got mouse pads that are pads and I love them. More gift tags. So a lot of gift tags, a lot of planner stickers in there. A lot of those magnets. I was just looking at buying some more of those magnetic bookmarks, but that's hilarious. The next one, we're pretty sure we know the only things that are in here are Christmas cards. Um, in theory, I'm going to go back to making Christmas cards. Stop laughing out there, people who know me. We have, for the past few years, though, made a specific point of giving handwritten Christmas cards to our neighbors. And we do figure that for a lot of people who don't see us all the time, we will do picture prints, but for everyone else. And we go to the Dollar Tree. So normally I spend a dollar a box and sometimes I need two boxes. So let's say $4 in the last two years because they're like 10 cards. So this is an $8, I'm uh, sorry, an $8 card set that has 16 cards in it and snowmen. And I love snowmen and Christmas. Eh, secondhand glitter, but that's okay. It's Christmas. Christmas trees, cats that say jingle all the way. Christmas tree. Oh no. Uh oh, Nerf has got the giggles back there. She's trying to not share. We had a friend who had an ugly Christmas sweater. Didn't it say like jingle all the way on it? Maui Christmas. Maui Christmas. It had cats on it. And so, yeah, my kids are very enamored with that. Um, more Christmas trees. I may have to like give some of these to an organization. Um, each year at Christmas, the spirit of giving adds joy to the season and gladness to living. Helen Steiner Wright. Oh my gosh. And another box of those. And then another box of Christmas trees and another box of the original snowman. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes of Christmas cards. So we're gonna go with, even if you said at dollar store prices, that's pretty good. You know, that's $9 and it's a $4 back. So, and, and I will be honest, they're nicer than Dollar Tree and they're 16 in a box, which is more than Dollar Tree. Okay, next bag, this is what this bag looked like. Okay, first up, cardstock. I love cardstock. It's great for making cards. No, that's not just because it's made of that. Twine. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I want to say that I saw some people doing some crafty things at Christmas with this kind of twine. So I may have to poke about. Here's some purple ones. So I got five balls of time. What did you say? Two bucks at least? Yeah. Gosh. Okay, gift tags. In case you didn't have enough gift tags. But these are the kind you can actually like decorate and do stuff with. Those are super cute. Another set of pens. Another notebook, get it done. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. This may be really awesome at Christmas. Okay, somebody, somebody who I think made an online order returned it because there's their name. Q monogram, 
yellow gift tags, a sparkly Q monogram, a P, a little mini clipboard with notepad, aww. Yeah, dog. Fox, dog, die cuts of some sort. Another sticker by number kit. These are super cute, I do have to say. More of these leaves. Yeah, I saw this much left in the bag and it wasn't a giant bag to begin with. We're getting to the reason I bought them. So this is T on the top and S on the back. So it says banner. I don't know what it's a banner of, but you like Thanksgiving. And it's got twine and it doesn't say what it is, but it's like um, balsa wood. Another one of those super cute little notepads. And by the way, they're magnetized. And another one. So much stuff. And some stickers. These are puffy stickers. And they're really cute. Mostly food, but I think I see a school bus in there. Okay, and then, oh my gosh, the washi. So we've got, this is gonna be forever. I'm so sorry if you're sticking with me, I'm trying. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. I'm gonna throw this back there to nerd pie. Oh, this is cute, I've gotten this before. This argyle orangey and teal. Flowers. Are pink, those flowers? Pink and gray flowers. Check it here, woman. <laughs> yeah, she goes and plays sports. I know, and so let me just take a rough count. That was two. Three, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, eight, thirty, two, four. Thirty-four rolls of washi tape of all different kinds. Like this one says amazing on it in red and gold foil. Uh, more of the blue flower that she uh, that Nerd Pie got in her bag that she loves. And some of this with some other flowers, yellows, everything. I mean, seriously, I don't know if you can see any of that in there, but it, yeah, there's lots of washing. And then another roll of this twine. We're almost done. I'm hoping we're almost done. I have to go make dinner soon. Um, last bag. And it does not feel like it's full of 30 washing. It feels like it could be worth the full of lots of stickers, which was what I was hoping for. And well, and I knew about this. Super, super cute tissue paper. You can use this for crafts. You can use this just for packing up gifts. You know, colored tissue paper, good colored tissue paper is expensive. These are $4 a piece. Okay. So I knew we were getting that in there. Frog stickers. Aw. And then a stamp and die set. Ooh, I love stamping. I have a whole collection. Um, and these are Christmas ones. I don't know that I'll use the die for anything, but they're super cute. Owls. What about owls? Sorry, British television show. Um, they are dimensional, which means they'll be cute on like cards, but I don't think they'd be good for planners. Same with this all. Look at all alligators. Alligators, I believe. I don't see teeth. Yes, alligators. <laughs> trying to remember. I taught my children. Okay. Here we go with one, two, three, four sets of pine cone stickers. Cute. A graduate card. Oh, that would make such a cute card. Graduate uh, stickers. So either a scrapbook or a card. Horse stickers. Very cute. Confetti. It's what it is. Washi tape. Originally $19.99. Maybe, yeah, I think that, maybe $14. Um, this is Nerd Pie's favorite color. And uh, she's making grabby, grabby hands with it. And uh, shove off you hoser, I think is what I'm not. We'll see. We'll see. She's a pretty good kid. Maybe she might get some of that. And the same thing. No, it does look like $14.99, though, in the yellows. So that's $30 worth of washi. Now, whether or not I spend $30 on washi, different issue. But these are super cute. So if it looks cutty, my thing timed out. Um, here are some light embellishments for like making cards. So like if you know you want to do something that looks kind of like you've got lights on it, it's really cute. 
I'm trying to finish this. Good dog and woo. Small talk stickers. Intended for adult use, just in case you're wondering. For me and my big ideas. That's Mambi, who also, I believe, uh, is behind Happy Planner. Some whale stickers. I'm sorry, I just totally see this for a baby boy baby shower card. I just think that would be so cute. Oh, lions, felty lion stickers, three dimensional. And then horses, if you know people who are big into horses. We have a family at church who I know might love that. Next time I make a card. More um, alligators. Let's see what do we got here. We got a cutting template. I think it says dream, yes. So if you've got a die cut machine or just really heavy books, I've heard it can work with those. And then, okay, oh, these are ghosts. At first I was like, oh, what are these meerkats? Ghost stickers, we're not big into the Halloween, but that's okay. Why are these, aren't they cute? Dinosaurs. I don't know why, but nerd pipe back there laughing at the storm. Lions, does the lion sleep tonight? Elephant. Llamas. These will all make super cute cards though. Uh, if you know anybody who loves David, David, let's we'll just go with David. Uh, or sugar skulls, that's super cute. Those are heavy too. More elephants. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Spiders. Ballroom dancing. They have stickers for everything. What can I say? Uh, sugar skulls again. Gift tags in case we didn't have enough. Oh, little uh, whales. More little whales. And, and, last but not least, bears. I seriously think that I have hundreds and hundreds of dollars of things here. Between the two of us, we spent 30, no, seven times four, $28. We spent $28. I think we totally got our money's worth. Like I said, this is the Michaels in Clovis. If you made it to the end, you are a rock star who is way nicer than I am. Give this a thumbs up. Subscribe and let me know. Let's see. Tell me what your favorite sticker was out of the crazy sticker collection. Have a great day. Bye